Hello and welcome to another exciting edition of the Orlando World Sunday Showdown Round of 32. This week sees Universal Studios attraction Transformers The Ride 3D going head-to-head with Magic Kingdom's Log Flume attraction, Splash Mountain. Let's take a quick look at both of these attractions. Transformers The Ride 3D is a dark ride located within the New York City area of Universal Studios Florida, opening the 30th of May 2013 at a cost of over $100 million. The ride was instantaneously popular, so much so that after only several weeks in operation, the ride had already accommodated over 1 million riders, one of the most attended rides ever in such a short period of time. The ride focuses on the battle between the Transformers and the Decepticons where at the pre-show for the ride General Morshower, Ironhide, Wheelie and Ratchet, who explain that the Decepticons have come to Earth in search of the All Spark and are attacking the nest base in order to recover the fragment stored there. Optimus Prime concludes the briefing by introducing all of the Autobots that are featured in the ride. The ride is similar to the Adventures of Spider-Man ride at Islands of Adventure, but with some added improvements to the technology used in the ride. It's a fun, but intense simulation ride, which does incredibly well at blurring the lines between simulation rides and reality. Splash Mountain is one of the most iconic theme park rides in the world. Located within the Frontierland section of Magic Kingdom, the ride opened on the 2nd of October 1992. The ride is a dark water ride with a large log flume drop, and is currently based on the 1946 Disney animated film, Song of the South which features the story of Bray Rabbit who leaves home in search of adventure. Splash Mountain features a 52.5 foot drop section which reaches speeds of approximately 45 miles per hour, along with one of the longest indoor flume tracks for any water ride. The attraction is one of the most vibrant looking and entertaining attractions in Walt Disney World, and is heralded as one of the resort's greatest ever attractions. In mid-2020 it was confirmed though, that the original Splash Mountain story would be retired, and reconfigured to the Princess and the Frog film from 2009 ending a near three decade affiliation with the Song of the South. So let's now get straight into the action this week, and head into the first of five head-to-head -head rounds. Let's go! Transformers The Ride 3D is a simulator attraction based on the Transformers film franchise. The ride's theme is centered around Nest, the non-biological extraterrestrial species treaty, which houses all spark, a fragment which the Decepticons are trying to steal, and is heavy themed in this area throughout the queue. The ride features several 60-foot screens beaming 4D projections on the screens, to present a 3D image. The technology used is a bit more advanced than the Spider-Man ride, and the film sequences are much more complex, and feature several times more detail than the Islands of Adventure ride, which makes it a very impressive ride overall. The ride itself is themed quite well, as the background sets are slightly more detailed, and help to enhance the action as it plays out on screen. The special effects are exceptional, and a lot of the theming is aesthetically pleasing, helping to build up to the payoff on the ride itself. Splash Mountain is themed in line with Frontierland, with the unmistakable dusty orange rock face, designed as a critter country attraction, with lots of logs, forest theming, and plenty of water. The ride is designed in classic Disney fashion, very similar in style to the likes of Winnie the Pooh, and Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, with lots of animatronics, bright sets and the enjoyable theme song throughout. Splash Mountain has some of the best theming for a log flume attraction, and has several impressive indoor scenes which are extremely well detailed and well laid out. The ride layout is designed well, it's balanced out well with a good range of fun drops, show segments and a fairly simple story to follow. Splash Mountain has in recent years been under some intense criticism in regards to its story, and is due for an upgrade to a more modern theme of Princess and the Frog, which many fans of the current ride hope will improve the ride when refurbished. So in round 1, only just narrowly, but in surprisingly Splash Mountain takes the first point for being a more intricately themed attraction, let's get straight into round 2.
Transformers is a fairly good ride in terms of capacity. The ride cars, designed as evac vehicles, have a capacity of 12 riders, sat in three rows of four people. The evac vehicles move in groups, at regular intervals, meaning that it is capable of accommodating an approximate 2,160 riders per hour. For a simulation ride, it's quite a reasonable capacity, as a lot of the show seems take place on the screens for lengths and periods, which makes the capacity level quite impressive given the limitations. Capacity for Transformers is a little higher than many other simulation attraction, which is testament to the ride itself for its design and storyline, which help with keeping the ride at as high a capacity as possible. The capacity of Splash Mountain is good for a long flume attraction, but fairly low in terms of Disney's ride capacities. The logs are set off at timed intervals using a unique chain pull system which helps to keep the logs at a safe distance apart while drifting through the water. Each log is capable of holding seven riders in six rows, with the back row of each log flume being wider, to accommodate two people, mostly for an adult and a small child, which means that the ride has an overall early capacity of 1,200 riders. So in round two it means that Transformers levels the score, being over twice the capacity of Splash Mountain, as we head into round three. Transformers utilizes an extremely complex ride system, the ride uses a suspended track roaming platform, which allows the evac vehicles to pivot and rotate through 360 degrees and a range of different heights and angles. The track is an impressive length, at over 2000 feet, which accommodates several giant screens and numerous transitional sets, as the evac vehicles make their way throughout the track layout. At over 2000 it is one of the longest 3D based attractions at any Florida theme park. Splash Mountain at Magic Kingdom is actually the shortest version of the ride in terms of track length, compared to other versions at other parks, mostly due to development constraints in the Frontierland area of the park. The ride measures an approximate 2,600 in length, with both flume elements and some track-based sections underwater. The ride being a slow-moving ride feels much longer than 2,600 feet in length, and with the ride being on multiple levels it feels much bigger than it really is, so in round 3, Splash Mountain comfortably takes the point going into the penultimate round. Transformers is a fairly short simulation ride, although there is a fair amount of content which can be taken in during the pre-show screenings in the queue areas. The ride itself lasts an approximate 5 minutes in duration, which is fairly short, however the ride is fairly clever with its use of technology, that each segment feels much longer than just a few minutes. With a lot of action being played out on screen, the ride strikes a great balance between the motion simulator and the 3D movie segments, which uses its short time frame to good effect. Splash Mountain is a fairly lengthy attraction, it's similar in length to other water-based attractions. The ride at Magic Kingdom is the longest in duration for any Splash Mountain ride at other Disney parks. Magic Kingdom's version clocks in at a whopping 11 minutes and 45 seconds compared to other versions. The ride is fairly slow, as it travels around the 2600 foot course, but it's balanced out extremely well with several animatronic show segments, and several false drops, adding a little suspense throughout. The ride is fun and passes by much slower than anticipated for a water ride, with two very lengthy indoor spells during the ride, breaking up the ride well, and making the most out of its near 12 minute duration. So for ride duration, it's another point to Splash Mountain for being a much more lengthier attraction, let's move on now to the final ride of this week's battle.
for thrill factor then, as far as motion simulator rides go, there aren't many better than Transformers the Ride 3D. The ride isn't the most intense or the most thrilling, but it does well at capturing the nature of the franchise well. The show scenes are incredibly detailed, with some insanely good visual effects, which are complemented by a tremendous ride system. The theme of the ride is well designed, the story is short enough but interesting enough to keep you involved throughout, and is great fun from start to finish. Transformers is an incredibly popular attraction which has attracted widespread critical acclaim since it opened, for being a truly great all-round attraction. Splash Mountain in terms of intensity isn't the most thrilling of rides, although the ride does make clever use of its layout, taking the log flumes around the twisted maze as it intertwines around the mountain, building up to the suspense of the plunge near the end of the ride. Much of the ride is slow and just an enjoyable float downstream, but what the ride lacks in the thrill department, it more than makes up for creatively, with an infusion of catchy music, brightly coloured characters and sets and an incredible charm that even for such a long ride, leaves you wanting even more. For thrills and enjoyment factor, not many attractions can come close to Splash Mountain for providing one of the best all-round attractions. You can sign along, you get incredibly wet, and most importantly you have great fun. So in the fifth and final round, Splash Mountain claims the final point to end the contest this week. So this week's results show clear four points to one winner. This does however mean that sadly we have to say goodbye to the incredibly good Transformers attraction. Transformers The Ride 3D is arguably one of the best 3D motion simulator rides in the world. Splash Mountain advances to the next round. We hope you will join us for next week's edition, where we see Big Thunder Mountain go head to head with It's a Small World. See you next time. We hope you enjoy this video, please support us by subscribing to our channel. You can find us on social media platforms, find us on Facebook and Twitter at Orlando Worlds, and on Instagram at The Orlando Worlds. Thanks for watching.